ESPN, celebrating 150 years of college football. There is only one way to see it. You are looking live. As American spectacle and symbol. As ritual and rite of passage. As the sound of pride and the picture of youthful spirit. A celebration of moments seized and legends made. He's a very fine football player. By those who live the stories and those who tell them. The ball's up in the air, caught! Boston College, I don't believe it! end zone, touchdown! The passion resonates through the passage of time. Just standing there, now they fight. You talk about respect. There's only one way you get respect, and that's by looking somebody in the eye for 60 minutes and say, hey baby, here I am now. Let me see you run through me now. In America's southernmost state, the compass points to high levels of intensity in a deep rivalry, which has given rise to some of the greatest teams to ever unite and fight together. For over 75 years, the Gators and the Canes have sought the spotlight in the Sunshine State. We got ready, man, for the rest of our lives. I put my heart in Let's go, man! The feud for Florida resumes right now. Let's pour it on over, don't let him up! Let the celebration begin! Game one of season 150 in college football. We come to you from the summer swelter, August in Florida. Camping World Stadium in Orlando, middle ground between the two campuses in Gainesville and Coral Gables. And the tickets tonight are as hot as the temperature. Great hype and buildup as the Hurricanes and the Gators collide and each trying to launch a special season. Game one for head coach Manny Diaz at Miami, the man he worked for twice, Dan Mullen, the Gators boss. Had a great team, went on, took the job at Texas, got fired by Mac Brown. Mullen hired him back in 2015. And again, Manny left him after one season to come to Miami. Dan says he made Diaz a celebrity <laughs> in his words. Definitely helped as he climbed the ranks of the coaching profession. Gators won the toss and deferred. Miami receives. So everybody around the nation watching, what a way to launch CFE season 150. And it'll be a touchback. A team and a brand like the Miami Hurricanes, and he gets his start to his career tonight. It's K.J. Osborne on the jet sweep. Gators stringing out, and the man who's the graduate transfer. Gators rush for it, does come out quickly, and it's complete for the tight end, Brevin Jordan. And he's got space and a crease and a first down. Wilson on the other. And it's play action. Williams under immediate pressure, flips it off to Dallas in the flat. Ten. Williams, another quick throw. Osborne gets a block on the edge. And now gets to the sideline. And Coral Gables. It's another play action. On first down, they'll flip it short. And they've got Jordan the tight end. And he's got some space. Huge chunk plays for this Hurricane offense. From the I formation, toss sweep. Dallas patiently picks his way, but he is met hard by Marco Wilson. Play action. Williams slipped as he sets up, and he will be... Drop behind the line. Crowd loud on third and 12. Williams trying to buy time. Flips it short. Jordan again. And he'll be tackled. Ball comes out late. It's a scrum. Hurricanes say they've retained possession. And they have. But they're short. to come away with some points. Max a very reliable. Missed just once inside 40 yards last year. And he slides it inside the right upright. Play action on first down, and Franks throws the arm strengths and loops it to the sidelines. It's incomplete. Tackles, drops some weight over the last year or two. He's much quicker. He's got the ball on second and ten and kind of works his games. Rush four against the empty backfield, and Franks has time, tries to scramble. Now backpedals, eludes Garvin, but he just got a hand on the quarterback. Speed and reach to make that play. Tommy Townsend takes off on the fake. Can he get there? Yes, and the punter makes a huge early gamble by Dan Mullen pay off. He did that last year. How about the speed by the punter? I mean, he got around the corner and started to pull away. Gutsy call, you're right, Chris, by Dan Mullen. 
Sensing maybe needs a little bit of energy here early in this game, and he picks up that first down, goes for it deep in his own territory, and catches the Canes off guard. Wow. Tony gets a block, and he's a blazer. A dynamic guy. They'll use him all different roles. He's still going. Canarius Tony. They won't catch him. Touchdown, Gators. Well, when you have an aggressive defense, offenses can take advantage of that, especially early in the game when there are a lot of emotions that are running through a defense. These linebackers, they're veteran, but they're flying with play action. They got out of position, and they gave Tony a lot of space, and those linemen who are pulling out in front of him, a lot of space for him to work and run. That he doesn't lose foot races. Dan Mullen in a gambling mood, and it pays off for Florida, 7-3. Tony actually is hidden. He's over here, motions, and ends up coming over here. I don't think Miami communicated that, but watch the linebacker play on the play-action fake. Get out of position right there. Now it opens it up. Now you can get downfield. The other thing that's disturbing, week one, one missed tackle, two missed tackles, three missed tackles against a back like Tony. He's going to make you pay for that. So overly aggressive. Then the safety's downfield, not wrapping up, not making tackles. And you go from giving up a 15 or 20-yard gain to a touchdown. The Camping World Kickoff is presented on ESPN by Hampton by Hilton. College football stays here. Book now at Hampton.com. And in part by Mazda. Feel alive. And Florida's national championship coach is both here. Urban Meyer wearing a Gator shirt. That might surprise some Florida fans, but he was invited back. Only game he could see because he's got TV duties on another network. And, of course, the head ball coach. Great to visit with him in Gainesville on Thursday. Possession. He was five for five in the opening drive and make it six for six, although hammered right away as Mark Pope. Play action on second and six. Immediately pressure. Williams escapes it. He'll be sacked for the second time down near the 15. You know, that de delay a game is something the coach has got to help from the sideline. On third and 22, they just hand the ball up the middle, and Dallas will try to stop the bleeding. And nice. Not panhandle, Marie. Jordan has been a mentor for his younger brother. Now Tony, the touchdown scorer, gets the handoff on a sweep and spins and is knocked down hard. But Michael Pirine is stacked up. It's Haynes trying to heat up the pocket. He gets the ball out quickly, but being hit immediately. And they give it to the speech, so the Canes were ready for it, but pure speed gets the first down. They weren't fooled. They were just beaten to the edge. Field lined up very deep. He's got it on the toss. Bobbled it initially, and the Canes penetrate. Thanks, Joss gets it off. Canes bring the pressure. Franks escapes and will take off, and that's 240 pounds headed downhill. Third down. Franks is looking that way, fires into traffic, and the catch is made right. Quarterback keeper is an effective play in this situation, and Franks, although he slips, four receivers to the left, but it's Pirine taking the handoff, bouncing off tackles, and that's camp to allow you to be a good tackling team. Little tempo, but this time they're ready for Pirine. And show pressure and bring it on third down. Franks gets it out quickly, and Pirine in the flat as a catch. Damn. First and goal. And a fumble exchange. Franks and Pirine were confused about who was going to keep it. The Canes say they have it. And coming out with it is Scott Patchen. Get out the turnover chain for the first time as the Gators spoil what was a promising drive. And he's got the handoff. Cuts it back into the middle. Don't get a look at it ahead of time. Davis. Bobbles the snap. It's on the ground. They're fighting for it. It's a scrum still loose out near midfield. And I think the Gators got it back. Nick Buchanan, it was the center falling on it. Wow. And the play, it, it looked to me again like a little bit of miscommunication. The execution, 
Didn't look like it was the best. Oh, they gave it to Miami. Wait. I was with you. The top, the big center, Buchanan, was right there. He, he must have let Quarterman the Miami wrestling. defense rip it away from him. Let's take See, a look the at the bottom execution isn't here. the best, I, and he never had his, a handle on the ball. And you'll see the big center 66 looks like he has it. He's down, but look, there, no, no, he never quite had the ball. Right, and Miami gets another gift. And now it's DJ Dallas in Wildcat formation, takes off, breaks a tackle, and busts it in inside the 30. And Williams takes off, flushed out of the pocket, now tries to bounce it back to the right. Harris is the back. But Williams is going straight back. Now he flips it in the flat, and this is Harris. He's a... Williams, immediate pressure, gets it out, throws a dart. He was looking for Jordan, incomplete. Knocks it right through again, so Miami, their own 10. Dallas from the I formation, looking for room, and able to get that defense up. Williams from the pocket delivers a short throw. And quick throw to the edge. Thomas gets a block and shows some acceleration. He is very hard run, backward pass, and... Now they fake it to Harris. Williams is swarmed and knocked down behind the line for the third time. Trey Dean got there, and then Grenard cleaned it up. When Harris is the back. And again, they get the ball out quickly to Harris in the flat. And he is going to be chased down. Third and very long, they just ran the ball. This time a play action, and Williams steps up and throws over the middle. And a first down to Thomas. Downfield, difficult throw with a night. Dallas. Hit hard. Now, can really help him. And you get a mismatch in the slot. Williams is looking the other direction. And now surveys, has space to run, and slides down in Florida territory. Nobody talks about him where he doesn't have athletic ability or speed. Williams backpedaling, flushed again, holds the ball too long, and Ben Trill Miller makes him pay. Dominant linebacker in the SEC for the Gators. Gators rush forward to screen. Dallas goes up and makes a one-handed catch and now takes off. DJ Dallas busting into the clear and knocked out at the 4 to 15. An explosive play. Gordon, the tight end. Gators bring the pressure. Williams has time. Ball batted at the line and then caught. And Jordan bounces into the end zone for a go-ahead touchdown. And the freshman starter shushes the Gator crowd. Frank seven for nine, 66 yards on the short pass, long run to Tony. Other than that play, really not much. Gaines with a blitz. It's picked up, and Franks loops will throw on the sideline. Easy pitch and catch. And it's a first down run to Pirine. Pirine in space, and he would expect. Play action. Franks will take a downfield shot. And he had single coverage on the far side. And now a flag comes in. It was Al Blades covering Grimes. It's 36 after the timeout. And Pirine spinning in traffic is going to be knocked down. For, you know, physical, but you can see athletic as well. Oh, yeah. So after the loss, they try to get Tony on the end around. And the Canes swarm him, string him out, and drop him for a big loss back at the 44. And Franks fires short, incomplete, never had a chance. Hurricanes from their five-yard line. Dallas in the backfield. Last time in second and ten. He faked the hand up to Dallas, and they zip it along the sidelines. Incomplete again. The feet on the goal line, rolling out. Looked inside for a shovel pass, and now just has to avoid a safety, and he's spun down for a short loss. It'll be fourth down. That was Jeremiah Moon. He handed off uh, Damian Pierce. Second and eight. And Pierce deep in the backfield. Franks zips it. And it's broken up. Five receiver look. Franks has a lot of time trying to direct traffic downfield. And he delivers a strike to Grimes. It was a rough miss on a crucial play. Now from the pocket. Franks across the middle. Has a man wide open. And the catch is made by Kyle Pitts, the tight end. Grimes is a red zone target. He's on the right. 
Frank's looking that way, trying to buy time, and now just fires it out of the end zone. He was in the flats. P. Ryan trying to make a man miss, but he can't. But they get it off. Franks doesn't matter. He's going to be swarmed. This is from 27 yards to cut the Hurricanes lead to three. So Miami players back out wary of a Dan Mullen fake down there. Not too sure. Year to see the reaction from the crowd. It was it was very very special. Green pass is also something to get back to. Dallas on a delayed handoff and he's dragged down. Haters don't blitz. Williams has time and now rolls free scanning the field takes off and he'll be far short of a first down and now a flag comes in very late on the Florida sideline once he was out of bounds and he's pushed actually by Harley into him but after the runner was out of bounds personal foul late hit defense the 15 yard penalty automatic first down Regis to hit is. Play action, Williams rolling, and he will just get out of bounds for a short loss. Shoved out again near the sideline. Game, and he's in motion. And it's a handoff, trying to get to the edge. And this Cameron Harris. He's got a first down and more. He's got the sideline. There is a flag down way back in Miami territory as Harris is knocked down at the two. And I think the explosive play is going to come back. There are two fouls, both on the offense. Holding, offense number four, penalties declined. Holding, offense number nine, 10 yard penalty from the previous spot, replay second down. Ball to four to three, they were thrown 30 with a second and 21, and under pressure again, Williams trying to escape, and he'll just throw it into the bench. Alice in the slot, Williams looked that way, backpedaling again, and young fella just get down and throw it away. He takes another hit, that was James Houston, Boy, the Gators just keep rotating front seven players in there. Turn for Diaz and the defense, giving them up. Franks on first down. Step up and go to one of those intermediate throws. Franks and to his left, where he's not as comfortable. He's rush four. Franks flushed quickly from the pocket. He gave up on the pocket quickly. Tried to get it to Piron. Ability to execute. On third down. We throw across the field to Hammond and the slot receiver. Canes at the 10-yard line. And Townsend's had a good night. I mean, this is a boomer. And Thomas muffs it, and the Gators recover. A game-changing special teams gaffe by the veteran receiver and Van Jefferson. The Gators veteran receiver flies down and pounces on it. Wow, wow, wow. wow. The Gators now take advantage of a miscue. Instead, it's been the Canes taking advantage. This time, the Canes have the miscue. And how about the receivers of Florida? They're on all the special teams. These guys are seniors. They want to be involved. You see Cleveland is right there. This time, Van Jefferson right on the spot. And the Gators have great field position at the 11-yard line. And once again, that Canes defense put in an unenviable position. They fake it to him. Franks on the edge was looking back to his left and just flips it. He ran immediately hit in the backfield, but he escapes third down. Franks across the middle. He ran catches it and scores. The Gators go back in front as they cash in the turnover. Boy, watch the linebacker who gets caught up. This is a well-designed play right here. Keep an eye on him because the tight end Pitts gets in his way just enough to allow P. Ryan to get back underneath him. That put Pinckney in a tough spot because the tight end goes in front of him, loses his vision, and before he can realize what has happened, P. Ryan cuts underneath him to be wide open, and Franks finds him for the touchdown. Week zero. It's all good. Williams zips it across the middle and the catch is made. Going to start this drive, trying to slow down that Gator defense. And Dallas has hit in the backfield. More penetration. Wildcat look. And he takes off up the middle. And Dallas, the running back, still going. Look at the strength. DJ Dallas to the secondary, down the sidelines, and to the end zone. Miami reclaims the lead. 50 yards. They reach.
wrinkle, and it pays off in a big way. Yeah, a wrinkle that worked a little earlier for a nice game, but atrocious tackling by the Gators secondary. C.J. Henderson off to the left. Watch this effort to come in here and get involved. Miss, Olay, safety a poor effort. Marco Wilson a poor effort. The speed of Dallas into the end zone, but poor, very poor tackling. It can obviously bounce back, but Miami has definitely hit some adversity and responded. Sure. Rush for Franks. It's over the middle and it's intercepted. Picked off by Amari Carter. And the Kane safety still running. And fighting down inside the 25 as the Gator offense presses and makes a mistake. And the Hurricanes are in position to build on this lead. Right, and now the Kane set up at the 25. And toss pitch in Dallas. For Williams, six versus four. Harris has to slip a tackle in the backfield and he'll be stocked up on. And they try to pitch it to the edge. It's a third running play called and Harris extend the lead to six and it's a fake. And the kicker's got it and he's got the edge. A flag comes out. Bax is knocked out inside the five. Another flag where he was hit out of bounds. There are 2,000 on play during the run holding Offense number 85, that penalty being forced 10 yards from the previous spot. After the play, personal foul, late hit, out of bounds, on the defense, number 40, 41. 41, 41, James Houston. It's going to be a first down. This is the goal penalty and an automatic first yeah, down. Yeah, because wow. it's a dead ball foul. Yeah. They mark the penalty off, but it's an automatic first down. It'll set Miami up first and goal. What a terrible mental mistake. Yeah, another mental error for Florida. A miscue. He was well out of bounds. Well out of bounds, and Houston cannot stop himself from making the hit. They fake it to Dallas. Williams rolling out, clips it short underneath, off the hands of the big. So another little wrinkle here. Martell hands it off. Dallas trying to bounce it. Can he get to the edge? Fights hard. It's field goal attempt. <laughs> Williams fires. End zone. Diving catch. Incomplete. Broke it up. Henderson was covering Thomas. Two elite athletes. That's a great down. That's a great matchup. You get Jeff Thomas, 5'10, 180 pounds, matched up against CJ Henderson. We talked about Henderson not willing to make a tackle coming up in run support. This is what he does well, but there was some separation there from Thomas. A little push maybe gets away with it. Ball's thrown away, outstanding effort to extend himself, just couldn't quite finish the play, and Henderson's trying to get his hands in there to dislodge the ball. Here's Bubba Baxa again, and they get nothing out of his possession as he pushes it right. So the personal foul on the fake set them up in scoring position, but the normally reliable kicker pushes it right. Maybe he was had a hard hit on the sidelines. <laughs> All that zero points. Now Florida gets the ball and see what Felipe Franks can do. Take it to Pirine. Franks looking for a downfield shot. Hammond got it! Josh Hammond dragged down inside the 20. Finally the Gators hit a deep ball. They get the inside fade one-on-one -on -one matchup. It's a good matchup here. He's right on the inside here, moves to the end and goes by him. He's got room to work because of how far they spread him out. And he goes right by Frierson, who's had a big night tonight as a nickelback, but he gets beat right at the line of scrimmage. Hammond showing you some speed, known as a great route runner. 65-yard gain. Now Pirine in the flat. And he'll be knocked down. Field goal to tie it. And they flip it in the flat. It's the tight end pits. And he knifes through and will dive down first and goal, Florida. Three receivers to the left. Franks keeping it. Barrels in. Touchdown. Florida back on top. ADR drive in four plays. The electric strike to Houston sets up the short touchdown run. And this is, this is the part of his game that last year we started to see. They had to account for him running the ball 6'6 245 pounds he can get he can get downhill in a hurry he's, he's like a, a big tight end or a fullback when he runs the ball inside the five-yard line
Yeah, you pointed out last six games of last year, six rushing touchdowns, the five lead changes tonight, whole bunch of mistakes by both teams. So stop playing with me. I do this. Okay. Well, Felipe has had a lot of fun talking to the cameras, his fans, opposing fans, but he's a veteran now. Yeah. Kickoff coverage team having a little fun. Urban Meyer would approve of that as he watches box. This is going to be returnable. Thomas, who earlier had the muff punt, trying to make an electric play to tone for it. And he gets the edge. It's a nice return. You fake it to Dallas. And now it's Williams who's looking to take a downfield shot. Instead, throws it across the middle. Split to the left on first down. And he handed off inside. Immediate penetration. That was big Kyrie Campbell. Who the Williams is going straight back. Steps up. Still surveys the field. Has a man wide open. And that's Brevin Jordan. The trick play potential to it. But it's Martel who's going to take off and try to show his quickness to the edge. And the Gators are all over it. He's showing blitz. And he's coming. And immediately flushed out. Williams trying to make a play on the run. Flips it. The Canes. Williams. Fire short. Catch made. Osborne breaks a tackle. Yet another missed tackle by the Florida defense. Situation in fourth and short. Another missed tackle, but in defense here of Wilson. It's a tough guy to tackle. Ooh, knee is down. And uh, they're definitely going to take a look at that. Looks like they have two defenders on him. One of the defining plays of the game, and the young quarterback pressured. Flag down, quarterback down, and the Gators make a stand. The seventh sack tonight. Marlon Dunlap got there. And now the Gators, four and a half to bleed out, up by four, and Franks is thinking about throwing on first down, and it's a pick! A disastrous play! Romeo Finley gets the football back, and the Canes are suddenly in business at the 25. Can you believe it? A flag came out after the play, but what in the world? What in the, well, there are two things. What in the world are they, are they throwing the ball for? And then what? Steve Spurrier came. <laughs> he didn't he know what either. he just saw. Wow. I can't believe they threw the ball, and then you cannot believe. He threw that to three white jerseys there. I mean, I mean watch this. I'm, I'm shocked. With four and a half to go, Miami has a couple timeouts. Look at the pressure. Good job of getting after him. And throws it right into traffic, right into the arms of waiting Finley. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been the way the game's been going. Flag down again, and the ball is loose on the ground, and the Gators have it. K.J. Osborne came around, lost the football. Well, hold on, because there's still a scrum. Did, did Miami get it back? They did. Play action, Williams under pressure again, flips it to Dallas. And this time the Gators don't miss the tackle. He now they're coming. Pressure again. Williams escaping. And hit from behind. Ball is loose. Another scrum on the ground. Picked up. Scooped up by Dallas. Something dig across the middle at 15. Pressure again. Sacked again. Relentless Gator pass for Zuniga. Got him again. Gators rush four. Williams steps up and delivers. And Thomas is wrestled to the ground. Pass interference at the 35-yard line. Can you believe it? Wilson oh. just wrestled him down. It'll be an automatic first down. Pass rush again. They flip it short. Dallas is going to be swarm fights. Williams steps up again. Flips it short. His arm looked like it was hit. Williams from the pocket. Long throw, and again, contact in the secondary, and another penalty. Mike Harley tangled up with Trey Dean. Four-man rush. Williams with time. Underneath. Catch made. Harley. Trying to make a man miss. Dies first down inside the 25 to got to pick the thing up. And now Williams... Surveying has time, delivers into traffic, and it's broken up. Looking for Mallory. 37 seconds left. Williams has protection, but it's breaking down now, and he cannot escape. And the ball is out again. Yet another scrum. Miami has recovered it. Got to use that last time out. Yeah, Grenard on the pressure one more time. Look. They rush four. Williams steps up, throwing for the end zone. 
And it's another flag in the end zone. He was looking for Brevin Jordan. Two Gators in coverage. After further discussion, there is no foul in the play. Fourth down. They pick up the flag in the end zone. And that makes it fourth down and 12. So a, con a conversation there with the officials. Yeah, it, you know, there's no face guarding in college football. So no contact there. He gets his hands up. Doesn't necessarily make contact. So no foul. They need 12 here to keep up alive. Bobble, Williams spun around and just fires into the ground, and that should do it. Jeremiah Moon came after him. That'll for sure be grounding if they take the penalty. And the Gator pass rush one more time came after the freshman. Well, how fitting. I mean, it, it's really how the game should end if you're a Florida fan. The way that defensive line and the way the pressure got to him all night, after further it's only fitting that, there is no foul in play for intentional grounding. that that defensive line ends up determining the, the, the winning play. S snap didn't help Williams off to his right, and now it's just a free-for-all. How about the depth that they have in rushing the quarterback? We've seen Grenard all night, Zuniga, and now we see Moon getting his chance to get in there too. Yep, a lot to look at, a lot to think about. Took the eye off the ball. Dallas was in the area, so no in intentional grounding, but he fought hard. But Todd Grantham's defense, aggressive by nature, fast, ferocious, and overmatching Miami's young offensive line and victory formation for Florida. They had to fight hard. Favorites in this game who expected to roll. There were five lead changes. Felipe Franks had his ups and downs. They made it difficult on themselves late, but Franks just runs over and punts the football into the crowd to punctuate this victory. He's a character. So the Gators got what they expected, a victory. And Miami showed up, competed, but coming up short. A lot of mistakes. 14 penalties and those 10 sacks allowed. And Dan Mullins' Gators get to 1-0. It was a Gator pass rush that had 10 sacks as Florida's offense overcomes four turnovers, a couple of picks by him. And what, what is your takeaway? This is a preseason top ten well, team. I mean, obviously it was sloppy play. It's, it's the first game of the year. And the good thing is you go back, you look at the film, just like the teams next week will have the chance the following week. You look at, here, here's some good stuff, guys. He did. Here's some really bad stuff that we did. And now let's go practice and let's get ready for the rest of the year. Both these teams can have a great year. It was steamy, it was sweaty, it was sloppy, but it was a lot of fun. And college football is back and underway. Season 150, five lead changes, and the Florida Gators win it 24-20. For producer Bill Bennell, our director Derek Mobley, our excellent crew, great to have the family back together. We'll see you next Saturday then on ABC from Arlington, Oregon, and Auburn. College football 150, football is us, the college game. Very cool documentary coming up right now.